Hey kids, and uh, welcome back to Honestville. This episode is going to go up on uh, Saturday instead of Friday, uh, mostly because I wanted you guys to have time to check out the two-part collaborative series I did with Solid Contents. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, Solid Content is a fantastic YouTuber who does city builder uh, videos as well as other builder type games, sort of builder, tycoon, uh, strategy games. And so we did a two-part series where we talked about city builder games. There's one episode where he's playing City Skylines, and in the second episode I'm playing SimCity 4. Gave him a bit of a tour of Honestville, so I wanted to uh, give you guys a day or two to check that out. If you haven't already, uh, you really should. It's a lot of fun. We had an absolute blast. It was really, uh, really a great collaboration. So please, uh, please check out his stuff, uh, our videos, but also just his channel in general. Shout out to Solid Contents. Uh, right, so let's get started. Um, as you can see, some things have changed in Honestville Central here. I did some work, uh, we did some work on this in the Twitch on Honestville Extra, which is Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern. And so yeah, one of the things we did here is we, uh, we zoned, um, I upzoned uh, some of the residential areas near the subway. I, I managed to get the residential demand back up in this, in this tile, uh, simply by lowering the taxes. A bit weird. Uh, if anybody knows how these work, I'd be very curious to know like what the mechanics of the taxes are in the game because there's this weird thing that happens where when the city gets above a certain population, uh, the uh, they don't seem to want to build unless you lower the taxes, which is kind of strange if you think about it because in most cities, the central areas have higher taxes for residential stuff. However, it's an interesting thing that I've noticed. It, it usually happens around the 300,000 mark. That's what I find. In most tiles, around 300,000, you need to lower the taxes by about a percent. Uh, the same thing happened in um, the same thing happened in um, Plantation Bay. There's also some new open spaces. Uh, extend, I've extended the residential area here, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get into that soon. I'll show you everything we've done, and I have a, a cool plan for this episode too. So, uh, first off, naming suggestions. Uh, regular commenter Chong Hoon Chang, 3002, recommended that I name one of the parks in this tile Green Cap Park, in honor of the fact that the uh, residential areas seem to be capped for a while here. So I think that's pretty cool. Great, we'll take this nice big square park down here. Kind of gotten in the habit of uh, of doing these, uh, with the idea of going back over them and uh, making them nicer afterwards. So that's that. I also have a recommendation from the headbanging real ale maniac, who is, I guess, from Cleckheaton, England, or Cleckheaton, England, and he recommended that I name a commercial strip Cleck Vegas, uh, which reminds me, I don't think we have a casino in this tile. So let's find a commercial strip and drop a casino on it. There is a strip here. But uh, I'm not sure if I want to use that one. Let's, uh, let's take a look and find a spot. Maybe over here. Go to the Hotville area. This strip here. Kind of near the uh, the stadium and the... Um, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I like this. Let's uh, Let's drop a casino in here. stuff over there. Keep that in mind. Let's drop a casino in here. Be a little bit closer to the industrial area. Corner of the avenue. And yeah, we'll name this trip here. Black Vegas. Which I guess is a nickname for the main drag in that uh, in that town in England, if I understood correctly. Right, I have a couple of other things. Uh, Mr. Google recommended that I name a station after a particularly interesting subway station in Seoul, South Korea. So I'm just going to look for a, a station here. Let's just... I uh, think that's a little bit more interesting than, say, maybe one of these above ground stations because they're more visible. Or it could be a subway station too. I was thinking about uh, replacing the subway stations in this tile with... Um, with the road top mass transit stations eventually, but uh, I don't think we'll do that. We'll do that this episode. Hmm. 
I'm gonna find a sort of a somewhat semi-interesting one. You know what though? Let's go for this one. Kind of a No, I think that one's gonna get moved. Let's let's pick another one. I'm just looking for one that is kind of modern, since it's based on something in South Korea, and uh, most of their mass transit is pretty damn modern. Uh, there's some along here, I think. Maybe this guy. Let's see if I can... Yeah, this one here. Sort of a more modern one. And the station is called... I hope I've written this down right. Mok Sapyong Station. I hope I spelled that right. If I haven't, let me know. I, I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and my handwriting is... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble reading my own handwriting, as it were. Alright, and I have one more name recommendation uh, that involves a commercial lot. So... I'm, I think I'm gonna need to find a, a sort of low-end commercial lot. Well, we'll see. Maybe I can find one in here. If not, we're gonna go to the neighboring tile anyway. Always fun to do these naming recommendations. Uh, as usual, feel free to, to leave a recommendation in the comments. Oh, another cool thing I did. We now have a, an opera house. Is this the opera house? Yeah. Yeah, we have an opera house and a kind of square right by the opera house, which is sort of adjacent to this large station. So that's kind of cool. A uh, real fixture downtown. And it sort of is in parallel to some degree to the... Um, the other civic square here, which has this major art museum, the main library, the city hall, the courthouse, all kind of around this this big square here, so, as well as this ridiculous London uh, Metropolitan Police Station. Right, so, and then we've got the market square here, so kind of a series of a series of uh, squares in this in this city. Which, which was part of the original design of it. And this this Amityville Square here, and then... And then uh, the, the small Tanasia Garden Square there. There's another one here, which I think never got named. Uh, what was I doing, though? I was looking... I'm looking for a restaurant, if I can find one. Let's see if there's one in... One of these commercial areas here. Oh, this might do. Is that, like, small shops? It's hard to tell. Uh, it looks like a restaurant. Kind of... Kind of a little bit high-end for what we have in mind here, though. Let's, uh, let's go over to the next tile. I'm gonna drop the save and we'll go over to the next tile, and, uh... And we'll find a, a suitable restaurant for the name and recommendation. I think it's, uh, it's more of a fast food joint that we're looking for. But the city, uh, the city's starting to have a kind of interesting look to it. So the downtown, the subway... Uh, lots of towers, uh, this sort of denser residential, these clusters of towers, which are all along subway stations, uh, which I'm quite uh, quite happy with uh, how this has worked out. We've got a bunch over here as well, kind of near this subway line. I think I upzoned this yet, but uh, I will eventually. We're going to do highway construction this episode, which I realized is kind of two infrastructure episodes in a row. On the YouTube channel, but uh, but I I think it's gonna be fun to do it together. So another thing I did, uh, we developed uh, Southeast Ward on Twitch to some degree. We we added more, um, essentially just added more zone. Did a lot of zoning, uh, some industrial along here. This needs to get filled in eventually, which I will, which we will be doing shortly. But uh, it's kind of cool how this all hangs around this park and this this major interchange here. We're going to be doing something like this this episode on screen. Haven't had time to do a tutorial, so I also thought it would be kind of cool to to uh, in that sense to kind of show you guys. But that's what this tile is looking like. Uh, I made this fractional angle road actually while uh, while recording that that collaborative video with Solid Content, so so you can see that being built. Uh, if you check out that video, <laughs> let's uh, let's take a look now at the South Ward, which ha finally has development as well. I've been sort of working my way around the edge of the city. You can see that the just along the edge of the tile here, uh, and this this area here, I think will get filled in soon, as well as the area along this this subway will get extended, and the the rail as well. There'll probably be some kind of rail station up in the middle of that or something. Uh, but let's load that up. Maybe we can find a commercial area here, or failing that, just zone some commercial, let it grow, and, and name it that way. 
I don't even know if there is any commercial in this tile. If there isn't, there should be. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Let's see what we got here. A, a Maxis billboard? Uh, this actually looks like it could be a fast food restaurant, right beside the uh, census repository. It's not... I'm kind of hoping for something with maybe a parking lot. Man, when you're when you're looking for a specific building in a large city, it's uh, it's hilarious. It isn't the easiest thing to do. Let's uh, let's take this one because uh, it's kind of got that parking lot out front, and uh, it's kind of in this somewhat dingy building, and it is it was uh, Jesus. Oh, that's weird. Um, Adri Mohammed recommended that I name a sort of fast food joint. Uh, Las Poyos Hermanos, after the restaurant in Breaking Bad, which I think is great. It's an excellent show. Cool. It's a cool lot too. I really like these. Uh, really like these sort of brick, Main Street type, small town Main Street type buildings. Right. So yeah, you can see this this neighborhood here just sort of developed along this highway. With a few highway exits and another similar. We're going to be building one of these essentially. Uh, this episode, so another example of it. I've, I've gotten better at doing this. Um, let's see if this one's functioning. I hope it is. I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. Bus and car, bus and car. Okay, good. The neighbor connections are all working. Uh, this neighbor connection I'm not as sure about, but there's actually nothing going on on the other side, so we'll have to check that out. Anyway, let's, uh, let's drop under save and head over to, what is it going to be, Southwest Ward, I think? It's so weird. I, I Somehow I thought it would be South Ward. It'll be Southwest, I think, or Northwest. I thought it would be so simple to, to, to kind of orient myself with the with the ward's names in those cardinal directions, but uh, it's still kind of confusing. Yeah, Southwest Ward. Still kind of confusing. So, I've kind of plotted this out already. Uh, the road network has been plotted out uh, with a kind of expansion in mind. We have 427,000 uh, from the kind of starting budget, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, so that's good. Yeah, this neighbor connection has not been done, so let's fix that. Well, uh, it should be ground level, I think. No, I'm just going to do that. Pop back over. Uh, I may end up doing some editing this episode because, uh, as uh, as we all know, uh, mistakes happen when we're working on these highways. So, did I save? Yeah, I think I did. Um, so I'll try and I might edit out load times. It, it just depends, honestly, with the editing. It depends on the sort of timing of everything. If it's if I can get away with not editing the episode, and it's only like you know one load time or something that you guys have to wait through, then then it's a matter of sort of my time management. But Okay, so first we do this. I need it to be a ground connection for sure. There we are. And then we're going to drop the neighbor connection piece. I don't know if I've done much of uh, this neighbor con uh, neighbor connection stuff on uh, the YouTube channel. I've done it on Twitch. Um, I've sort of I've sort of figured it all out. You, if you guys, those of you who've been watching this series since the beginning will remember a time when I when I was sort of like kind of freaked out about these neighbor connections and not convinced that they would work properly. And yeah, that time is over now. I have got it figured out, perfectly comfortable with them and they work fine. The only thing about the neighbor connections, uh, for those of you who might be thinking about doing some real highway, is that they do not, uh, they do not work on level one. They only work on level zero and level two. Uh, so yeah, and you'll see when you, when they pop up like this. I, I may have already talked about this on the on the channel, but uh, but I might as well. I might as well uh, just say it again. Uh, they pop up like this, so you just put a starter piece on the other side. Make sure the yellow line is in the middle, and then we drag it out, and we then plop the neighbor connection pieces here again. It's a bit weird. 
but uh, it's not. It does work quite well. Uh, wait a second, I've missed it. Yeah, you can see there's some level two ones there. I have a feeling these are kind of like sort of older pieces because it's a bit strange that they don't have the level one bit, but it's not a big deal. Right, so, now, when we're building this guy here, it's gonna be a bit of a weird one because, of course, it's happening on a diagonal, and that might cause us a bit of a problem. We may have to, like, straighten this out to make it work. I really don't know. However, uh, how many lanes are we at here? Three or four? Three, okay. So first things first, we're going to want to go to link these two together. I'm pretty sure that's level one. So we can do a height transition. Uh, it would be nice. It would have been nice if I if there was enough space here for... I'm going to try and put this as close as possible. And when I say height transition, I mean flex height. And we may, we may end up wanting to level things out a bit, but we'll see. Okay. Let's just keep it like that. I'm, I'm really hoping there's room for um, for an underpass here. Okay, good. So that's the correct level. Uh, it would be even nice to get an avenue going under here. That looks good to me. Just uh, just to be safe. It's just always nice to have um, the ability to for traffic to move through. We should not be dragging too many avenues because they're a bit expensive and uh, I do have to save money for um, the purpose of building this interchange. So let's keep this at level one. This is going to be a separate, a separate, this is going to be RHW uh, 6S, but with, um, with a space in the middle. Might even be two lane. So we can start by maybe redoing this. Question is, I think logistics here. Uh, I know if it's ground level, then we can do an interchange. This might want to be ground level as well, actually. Because we can do uh, ramps at ground level. We'll place the uh, ramps first. Not a bad idea. I'm gonna leave the other the other lane of this highway. It'd be a bit weird to do this on the diagonal, but I haven't uh, I haven't played around with diagonal ramps very much. Uh, you know what I want is RHW six S. That one oh this one does exist in diagonal. See if I can get the diagonal to work. Curious to see. How that works. Oh. I did want I would have liked to have it sort of two lane. But maybe this one maybe this will be a this will be a two lane highway. Let's have it, let's have it be a two lane highway. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure if the I have a feeling that the this one here does not exist in diagonal. Yeah. There we go, it's this guy that we need. Maybe we can put it maybe here. I think that's sort of where it should go. Is that the shape I want, though? Dude, that's probably not a bad way to do it. Get rid of this mess. Now, I'm almost positive that, that these do not work elevated, so I think that stretch is going to have to be... That stretch is going to have to be ground level, which is fine. Of that avenue that goes under it, I have to have the avenue go over it instead. Uh, you know what? We're gonna have to go all the way back to here. Starter piece. 
Ah, we'll do three lane. I think the exit lanes would uh, would have two lanes, but it's okay. We can we can do a little bit of a compromise here. It is interesting to have it on the diagonal, and I have not done anything any exit systems on the diagonal yet. So so it's it's high time that I get that to work. What just happened? Interesting. Hmm. Can I place it on top of it? Probably not, so that would be too easy. Man, this is really going to cut short my plans if this does not work. Uh, this one... This one, I think, does not work on... Oh, I see. Right, when it goes to diagonal, it only works RHW2 and RHW4 ground level. Interesting. Okay, well, this is going to be a two-lane highway then. And I think that, I think this one here is just going to have to curve and go straight. I think that's what's going to have to be. That's okay. Right. Well, good to know. Good to know. So the diagonals only work with two-lane highways, which, which, to be perfectly honest, for me, sort of makes me not want to use the uh, diagonals. A bit of a shame, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Go with this guy instead. This is kind of a suburban area, anyhow. But uh, two-lane highways. I mean, there's, there's not, there aren't too many. I mean, a two-lane highway is really. Basically, a rural highway. Uh, you know, as soon as you've got ex exit lanes, you tend to go to three lanes. Um, it's, you know, it's not even really an expressway configuration. Two, a two-lane, uh, two-lane highway is 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 not really wide enough for any kind of urban circumstance. Um, however, we will su suspend our disbelief. We agree here. Uh, in the interest of uh, trying to get these pieces to work, yeah. So that now works. All right. going to be an interesting interchange, one way or another. And yeah, certainly... I'm not sure if that's the one I want. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's, I'm going to have this one go that way. Okay. This is the one I want here. Oh, no, I want this one here. And it should work, and that should be the correct position. Yes, indeed. Okay, now let's figure out what we're going to do about this. Essentially... I think what we're going to have to do is move where it curves. Since we're not doing it on the diagonal, we might as well leave it elevated. So I'll just go like this. Rather costly operation. And I think I'm going to actually connect it up. That's going to be the concept here. Because it's sort of like this, this little two-lane highway is almost sort of a parkway spur off of this. Yeah, okay, I see. We need this bit to be, be longer. The whole exit system is going to have to happen here. And it'd be nice if we could get, actually use some curves, but uh, they didn't work so hot last time. <sighs> curves have not been working super well now. want this one to connect up to the highway here, and then this can go under and around and up. Yeah, it almost makes sense to have this one go... Have a 
fly under here, maybe. I wonder if that'll work. So what we can do is we can grab a flex fly piece here. See if there's a two-lane guy that will do what I want here. Level four. We gotta get the level right on these. There we go. So that's pretty much what I want. The question is, where does it go? Okay, that works. Perfect. Uh, d is it the right? Yeah, okay. And this is gonna have to have a ramp here. It's gonna be a neat one. You know, I could uh, I could be better at sort of planning these these things, kind of drawing out a diagram or something. But uh, I've, I've I've quite enjoyed sort of improvising them and changing them as we go along. I, I say I've enjoyed that. In some ways, it's it's caused a lot of problems. But okay, let's actually probably dumb. I need to put now the uh, the ramp here. Not sure. I think I know which ramp it is. You can get everything to go very, very tightly if you use uh, if you use these flyovers. I'm wondering whether we can do that curve actually there with a flyover to make a nice round curve. Try in a second. But let's start by doing this ramp here. What we want is this works with six S. Zero. We might have to go with this one and then see if we can connect these two. Oh, right. The middle bit is going to be... Oh, I might have to redo that flyover. Right, I forgot. The middle bit has to, is going to be two lanes. Which is normal. Have to move this flyover aisle or two. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you know what? That worked. Okay, I'm gonna keep that like that for now. I do, however, I do, however, have to get rid of this and make it two lanes. Uh, now we're gonna have a ramp coming down here and turning this way. Okay, this is going to have to go, this here is going to have to go up. We may have to curve this somehow. Not sure if I'm going to have to redo this, this flyover. Learn as we go along here. Could actually be a fairly compact one though, given that uh, we've gone down to the Let's do this. I do want to hit the delete button here. Yeah, okay. You're going to have to redo the flyover. That's okay. It was easy. Might even be able to position the flyover before before we draw the highway. Draw the highway. Okay, that was my transition piece. Back this right up transition as, as tight as we can. Flex heights. Okay. Think that'll fit there. Flex fly. HW4. That looks pretty good. You know, we can almost move it back so that this doesn't have that weird curve in it. So let's do that. Let's do that. I 
think we can anyway. Transition again to do that, but that's okay. Don't break this. Over to there. Pick the trend flex height piece again. I'm much faster at this the last little while. This guy, back it up a bit. Flex fly. Grab the 45 or the 90 degree one. For its level one, I think it goes. Oh shit! I, I actually, that was a misclick, actually. I did not intend to click there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, flex flies are kind of like curves, except that they are designed to have to, for you to, uh, to put, like, layered, multi-layered highways over top of them. Otherwise, you're not able to, you're not able to run like this, and now run over top of it, see? That's what that's for. That is what that's for. And see, we get this nice tight lane configuration there. Now, I think we might be able to do a, a flex fly, a 45 degree flex fly here. That's what I was kind of hoping. So let's just see if we can. And if we can't, we'll just, uh, we'll just abort. Do go back to what it was. Gotta be very careful not to, uh, not to delete the flex fly that's already there. Flex fly. I think there's there is one. It, it almost fits. Man, we must be able to do this. Find the spot to put it. Oh, 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 that was it. Now we'll see if we can kind of heal this here. Good. And that looks much nicer. It looks much, much nicer. Question is, what can we do about this lane? I have a feeling we're gonna have to go... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Don't worry too much about it for now. This guy has to meet up with this guy. A second, no, it doesn't. That's yeah. Ah, this guy. Okay. Damn, almost, I think this lane might want to uh, go into a transition and just turn into this one here. But I'm not sure. Probably the middle lane is going to just keep going straight. Let's, uh, let's just start by putting the... Uh, ramp. So it's, uh, it's, I do find it's generally easier to kind of figure these things out um, once you've placed your ramps. So it would be almost nice if we could have an exit on this road. Oh, we'll have an exit on this road, that's fine. We may be able to back things up as well. We may not need all of this space, but we'll see. We need room for a transition. Find the one that is that works for six S six S L zero to L four. This guy that we want. Oh no. This guy. Yes. Yes indeed. Connect this up. 
Now the middle lane here is going to go straight. But just do that in two stages to kind of double check. And we're going to need to have another ramp system like here-ish. Yeah. Probably here so that this can meet up with it. So I think this is going to get extended probably straight like this. Yeah. Have that ramp come down there. And the one that we want... Ah, this is tricky though because of course now this is... Sure that this is correct. This one, this is the wrong lane, because this one needs to be the small ramp. Interesting. Okay. Okay. But I don't have to redo the flex fly. I might. Damn. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's fix that. This actually, we'll fix all this first so that I don't make the same mistake again. Is uh, what this what needs to happen here is this needs to be this needs to be a a ramp that's it's only a one lane ramp. So I think it's actually going to be this guy. Yeah, that's oh, but that one goes to two lanes. one. Yeah, never mind. Okay. So we're going to want to take this back to three lanes, essentially. A bit weird. A bit weird to have this this asymmetrical layout here is a little bit of a, ch a challenge where we have a two-lane highway meeting a three-lane highway. I mean, I say it's a challenge. It's not that it's a challenge, it's just that it's, it's a bit of a weird configuration. It doesn't really quite make sense in my opinion. However, not a big deal. So what I want to do is now put uh, a, a flex fly here. Hopefully I can find an MIS one that fits that nicely. I don't technically need a flex fly. I could use a regular curve, but uh, that, that's not the right one, is it? Uh, it's flexible, though. It should turn turn into... Ah, oh, shit. You're kidding me, man. I thought these were... Flexible in the sense that they switch directions, but they're not. Okay. It's the other direction? Yes. Ah, uh, there it is. Yep, perfect. Now, this actually needs to come and meet up with that, which I'm a little bit not sure how we're going to do, but we might be able to. Might be able to put a flex fly right in here and then a flex fly there. I don't know if there's room, but if there if there isn't, then what we'll have to do is, is move this back. And we've got room here, so we should be able to do that, fix that one afterwards. Where's this guy going? Ah, he's going to meet up with this guy. Okay. Ah, uh, we also need to height transition, though. Ooh, that's going to be very tricky. Okay, we'll see. We will see what is possible. We better height transition flex height right here. Makes me wonder if there was any point in this ever being. Level 2... Something's going to have to go to level 2, I think, actually. Yeah. 
Maybe not. Something is missing. Something is missing. Ah, it's the this side of the highway here. That's what's going to have to go to level 2. Okay, level 2, and then somehow meet up with this guy. That's going to be really tricky, because this has to keep going straight, essentially. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We better, uh, we better start building that other part of the highway. We don't know where it's going to line up, though, because everything had to be moved so that this bit would work, and we know that this has to be straight and not diagonal. Okay. So, let's carefully delete this in such a way that we don't get rid of those height transitions. Try and keep that flex fly intact as well. And once more. start using these pieces, it really does make things a lot nicer. Otherwise, well, it's, it's actually, I, I'm pretty sure it's almost impossible to do these without at least using one or two flex flies. Might be possible. Just have to, you have to spread them out a lot more if you're not using these pieces. And you know how I feel about that. Uh, yeah, so, turns out this guy is not going... This guy is going up this way. Yeah. So this this height transition was incorrect. That's not where that goes. Okay. There we go. That goes over that one. And this is going to actually come straight out here. And it's going to have a ramp turning into that. So okay, let's drag it out there so we can kind of get a sense. Uh, the land is actually fairly flat. I'm not concerned about it being sort of lumpy. It is a little bit. As soon as I put a ramp in, I'm sure it'll kind of get ugly, but... Um... Kind of thinking... Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see which ramps we have access to. It's, it's essentially... This guy here that we want. So I give ourselves a little bit more space. So yeah, I can see this. If I have to uh, flatten the terrain here to see, then I might. Actually, this one's going to go here, I think. Ooh, right. We need we need it to be ground level. Okay, so that means we can't use that ramp. I think that ramp doesn't even work, does it? Oh yeah, it does. But there's no diagonal height transition. Unfortunately. Right, well, there's a solution for that. Because I do, I do want to keep this... Uh... Well, actually, we could... No, we could have this turn here, flex fly around. That would be cool. Let's do it that way. That'll make it nice and tidy. We might even be able to use a... Might, might even be able to use a... Combination of... Two of these. One of these, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Might be able to get this to... Too f is it too close? Close. Oh, it's not. Uh, that's level one. It is too close, I think. Or it's just being blocked by... Actually, see what we can do here if we delete this a bit. Right back to there. Try not to delete the other flex fly. It does make a really these do make really nice curves. It would be so so cool if I could fit this in here. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. 
I think there was something in the way, temporarily. And then this guy gets backed up because it's going to have to go... going to have to height transition here. Put the height transition piece in. Flex height. The other thing I could be doing a bit, a, a bit more of... Um, very nervous about putting that right beside that. Is uh, is using using the terrain to do the the height transitions, but um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's more finicky because you can just kind of plop down and build on. And by that I mean like doing on slope height transitions. Could be doing that, but I'm not. Okay, that's working. That looks like it works to me. So this lane has lanes going in all the right directions. Now, what we need is to somehow have this lane here make its way over to here. So there's going to have to be a level 2 side of this highway. I'm going to have to transition to level 2, and then have a flex fly there, and then transition all the way to level 1. So I have a feeling we got to get rid of this and move it back. It's quite possible that we do, because I, I don't quite see how... Well, let's see. How long is the tr height flex height transition piece? Again, I... it. For me, it's like, yeah, the, oh wow. One level diagonal height transition. Interesting. Did not realize that that existed. Two level, is there a two level diagonal one? That's the question. I kind of doubt it, if I'm honest. Using these, uh, these loop transitions are really awesome as well. I'm gonna use one of those, gee. Ah, see, I could have used a loop transition here. Yeah, but it wouldn't take it. It wouldn't put it where we need it. What that is. And then we're back at the beginning. Hmm. Okay, well, we do have a diagonal. We can do two diagonal height ones in a row if we want. So we could do... Because actually here we have a height transition as well. So this could actually just stay at level... Yeah, okay. So we'll redo this at level one. This height transition here we'll get rid of. This is taking a while, but honestly, uh, I, this I don't know. Some of you might find this tedious to watch. Uh, some of you might actually find it somewhat interesting, I think. Sort of see different attempts to do things different ways. So I don't know what I'm going to edit, what I'm going to keep. We will see. But uh, yeah. So essentially the idea, I'm just going to leave this here to mark where I want it to be. I'm not sure if it'll fit in there, but the idea now is that we're going to use a flex fly. That's level 1. Level 1, 90 degree. Here, essentially. But not this one, it needs to be the other direction. Yes, that's correct. Connect this all up. So, ah, now can we do? Ooh, does the diagonal one? That's the real question here. Does the does this diagonal do just need to be at ground level? Now, I have a feeling it does, which would be a shame. Man, it would be so cool if I could get this to work. That's up above as well. I think I think this only works at level zero, which which kind of fucks up my plans if I'm honest. Although not necessarily. The only real thing that needs to happen here, we can have the height transition of this guy. We can redo the height transition of that guy if we need to. Uh, but more importantly, we can have the diagonal height transition happen later. 
piece we want. Ground level only, yeah, okay. I thought. Ground level only. Hmm. And we do have a height transition that can happen diagonally for both of these. Let's see if we can do that. Two height transitions in a row for this, and one height transition here. Flex heights. Piece, yeah, diagonal one. Yeah, I'd like that to be. I want to see if this how this works first. I've never used a diagonal uh, flex height, so see how that works first, and then I'll move it to the correct location. Need to be a tile away. That works pretty well. Uh, I'd like to do a flex. I'd like to do a uh, an um, a flex fly here to do that curve. So let's uh, delete this guy. Leave this here just to mark where it's going. Flex fly. We need L1, 45 degrees. And it needs to be the other one. There we go. L1, 45 degrees, should go here, I think. Connect it up. I'm assuming that's the correct location. Yep. Um, interesting. So we're going to have to place this first. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I gotta see, before I start uh, commit, before I commit to that, I really do have to see if I can fit in uh, two flex, flex height diagonal ones in this little gap here. We're gonna go, oh, oh my god. That was a misclick. My um, gaming mouse is great, but it has a very easy click. It's very, very easy to click like that, um, unintentionally. Uh, in this game, it's uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit trigger happy. This this gaming mouse that I have, so oh dear, not a big deal. Oh, that's level two. Is this one that we need? Yep, and it needs to go there. Yes, okay, correct. Now, flex heights. I am not sure this is going to fit in here. If it is going to fit, it's got to go like there. Or there. I'm not sure if that's correct. We will see. But it really does have to... Uh, is that in the spot? It sort of is, but... Of course, we might be able to turn this and go straight over. It really does have to get all the way to level 2 somehow, though. Yeah. We might be able to just do this straight rather than that. It might be, it might, we might not be able to fit a nice little flex fly in there, but uh, let's delete this very carefully. Okay. Uh, I don't... I think I want to go over this diagonally anyway. So let's see if we can fit a flex height here and see if we can make it turn. It's going to be tricky. That is going to be tricky. Oh, it worked. Ho, 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 ho. And that worked as well. Wow. That's all looking pretty good. Uh, I think this guy needs to move farther back, which, now that I look at this, is actually going to be... I wish I'd done that before. However... I can 
delete that, and we're gonna have him curve around there and meet up with this. That's what's happening there. Hmm. All right, let's fix this bit first. I think that's the only level two chunk that we need of this highway. So what we need is enough room to go to level two. Give it lots of space. Really no, there's really no uh, no reason here to uh, play it super tight, except for me just trying to do things as tightly as possible as usual. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong one. That's what we want. Connect this up. We need room to flex heights a diagonal. <laughs> I told myself I was giving myself lots of space. This is uh, really as as bloody close as we can get here, frankly. Should connect up. Drag really carefully there. Pretty good. Bit of empty space in there, but uh, yeah, we, we couldn't have done this any closer, I don't think. This is going to be a bit of a, a big loopy loop here. Uh, that's the question. I couldn't have this crossover. I mean, in an ideal world, this would have gone straight across here, straight across there at level two. But I, that I don't think is some. I do not think that's something that uh, that the uh, RHW would have been capable of in this in this circumstance. Uh, however. There is some potential for lanes to cross under this area here, if need be. Uh, and so what essentially needs to happen is this highway here. Yeah, we need a need as tight a turn as we can get. So I think I think we will use the flex fly though to try and, try and keep it a nice a, ni a pleasant curve. This is the last uh, highway interchange of the central part of the city. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else they'll be in in Honestville in the Honestville region in terms of highways. Um, this is we need level two, don't we? Yeah, we need level two. Level two, 90 degrees. This one. I don't think we can have the, I mean, in an ideal world, we would have the flex fly like here, uh, but. It might be possible. It might work. I'm just, I'm a little bit worried about having these two flex flies so close together. I think I'm gonna stick with that for now. And then essentially what we need to do is go 45 degrees. We need to go back down. Let's go with a flex ramp. Or flex height, I mean. Put that down to level one. And it can actually live at level one, that's fine. We'll take the flex fly again. We may be able to run some, uh, some RHW2 under this, kind of keep the road network going using that, which could be kind of cool. We'll see. We'll see what makes sense. Uh, we need level one. 45 degrees. Once you get used to these guys, you, really the sky is the limit as to what you can do in this. Can I just stick that right there? Yeah. That's a bit weird, uh, but it will. I think this will work. Now we just want to line up the ramp. So we're going to have one of those 45 degree ramps. Let's come off there. 
that makes sense. Yep. It's not, uh, it's not the most elegant one I've made. Well, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. Not, I'm not unhappy with it. Not unhappy with it. Success level zero only. Okay, that one doesn't work. Success level zero only. Go down to level zero just for the purpose of the ramp, but that would be annoying. Hmm. Uh, or we just, you know what? No, we're just going to use this one. We're going to do another flex fly on this side. 6S level zero to level... Okay. Now it's finally time to bring this guy over. Plug him in. Start with this one, actually. go. Uh, I should... How much money have I got? Okay, I've still got money. I'm going to bring this over uh, here. I'll, I'll fix the curves after. I'm going to jog this over here so that we can make sure that everything looks nice. God. Doesn't matter. This, this I'll fix after. Make sure that everything fits. This is almost done. And hopefully I can fit yet another flex er, flex uh what do you call it? <laughs> flex fly. I'm essentially just using these as curves a lot, but I think it's a good idea. I think it's kind of a good practice. Might be wrong about that. I don't think I am. It's interesting. There are lots of guides. I I'll, I will should confess something to you guys. There are, you know, there are plenty of like tutorials on, um, well, both on YouTube and also on. Okay, I, I think what we're gonna do is actually just uh, disconnect all this, give ourselves some space here. Uh, there are lots of tutorials on how to do these types of things, uh, both on YouTube and especially on the, on uh, the. Um, in Tropolis forums, and I am not particularly patient about following them. So it's a bit rich of me, since I, of course, make my own tutorial videos. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a problem here, I can tell. Uh, well, for one, it's at the, in the inc incorrect file, but we can fix that first. This guy might need to be moved back a bit. Should be easier to place this time. Uh, let's, let's move the whole thing back. Let's ramp. This guy we want. I don't know if I just redid the same thing there, but uh, I might have. I think we need to go farther back. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Is it in the right spot, though? Double check. Yeah, it's in the right spot. Okay. Yeah, I'm not very patient about watching those, so I, I tend to learn, uh, like, f come up with my own creative solutions to do a lot of these things. <laughs> so, I no, I, I do, I, I sort of do research selectively when I get really stumped. Um, and, you know, there's another aspect, which is that uh, now that I'm making these videos, uh, usually when I'm doing something really dumb in this game, uh, one of you guys comments. Uh, so, also that. Um, but yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't always have the patience, <coughs> excuse me, to, uh, to, to sort of look at diagrams uh, and follow a method to do this. 
so I often end up just inventing my own ways, but that's kind of weird. Kind of weird. I, I really do sort of wish that this was a flyover. I might remake that as a flyover. But then we have this challenge here. Because we could go to level 2 there. What we could do is have this rather than use a uh, rather than use this big diagonal loop here. We can actually just have this turn a little bit and turn back this way and then do a flex fly here. That might work. Might work, but it might not. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit. What I'm concerned about is is this flex fly and this flex fly being too close together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a save. I'm going to drop a save and try that out. The other option is to have this go to level 2 and this be at level 1. That is an option. This diagonal piece could just be level 1 the entire way. Because there's definitely room for for the for flex height here. Sure. Do that ramp. Well, I gotta check and make sure I'm not running out of money. Although at this point, with this region. If I did run out of money, I would be tempted to just kind of cheat some in because... Because... Now. Because it would be worth it. The first, the first thing we have to establish is whether this, this can run diagonally over that flex ramp there. That flex, whatever it's called. And it can. Okay, and then do we have room to do a... Level 2 flex ramp there. I think we do. And two of them here as well. Gotta go to level 2. It's gotta go level 2 over top of this. I knew there was a way. I knew there was a way. With these. This, this whole ramp system needs to come out. Fine, because it's a bit of an ungodly mess anyway. And then we're going to be going into... I got room in here. For a couple of flex height dudes. Happening there, there's a hole in the highway. Whatever. Oh, oh, oh no, what happens? Oh, what a hassle. Hey, maybe we'll move that guy back a bit. Uh yeah, it's too close to the it's too close to the uh height ramp. Oh yes! Oh that worked. Now, can it go over there? Oh yeah, okay, so that's great. That is fantastic. Now, what about this guy? Oh ho! Oh, this is brilliant. This is really, really good. Okay, now we probably want to pick a flex ramp in here as close as we can. Or a flex height, I mean. Remember, sometimes you can do things backwards. Get this down to level one. Okay, now all we need to do is get the ramp system working.
We need the one that works with 6S. And it's got to go like here. I think that works. Whoa. Uh, that's zing. Uh, let's just start a, a starter piece on this side here. Level 2, 6S. Oh, no, the other one. Look at that. Now the only thing that needs to be fixed is this ramp, this big ramp here is no longer necessary. So we're gonna figure out a new ramp system here uh, that connects up with that. And honestly, that is better than I would have expected overall. I'm not the only thing I'm not super thrilled about, and there's no way I'm changing it now, is this gap here. This gap here, to me, seems kind of out of keeping with the uh, the compactness of the rest of the highway, but, but there's any number of reasons why it could be plausible. Maybe they're planning to expand the highway in the future when, um, when RHW uh, supports more diagonal stuff. Okay, this, this is a real mess here. Um, uh, where's the height? Okay, the height ramp's over there. You're going to need room to do... That's level two. What we're going to want to do here is a flex fly. All of this to save a few tiles, but uh, you know, that's how I roll. This one, except it needs to be level one. That looks correct. Could go closer. So let's just connect it up, make sure it works. Yeah, I think this can all this can go a little bit closer. We can have it be one over at least, if not more. Much less bulbous exchange. Got the sentences that come out of your mouth when you're playing this game. Okay. Uh, level, oh no, it was actually this one, I think. Oh. For the place. There or there? The other one. Oh shit, you're kidding me. Oh no. How have I gone to level 2 there? Oh no. That's gone to level 2. Okay, that's not good. Okay, whew. Close one. Uh, I'm not sure why it's uh, changing levels there, or did I just choose the wrong one? I need level 1, 45 degrees. Should work. Okay. Whew. Close one. And now we're just going to do a similar thing here where it kind of forks out and goes up there. 
Uh, so we can probably actually do another flex fly. 45 degree angle? I think so. Might makes it might make just make, make more sense to um might just make more sense to do a straight diagonal here rather than a nice curves, we'll see. Uh L0 only. What am I missing here? 6SL0 to L4. Okay, no, I was wrong. This one. There. Yes, okay. One last time. Uh, I'm going to have to fix this. I'm going to I'm gonna have to figure out what we're going to do with this, with this whole corner of the highway here. I'm imagining it's going to have curves. But for now, it's to just line up with this so that I can use it as a starter. Pile, are we going to here? One. One now. Almost wish there was a hotkey for for the uh, RHW. Essentially, this is what needs to happen. Okay, that's not looking so hot. That's the trouble. Is there is no there is no uh, forty five degree ramp uh, at level two. Uh, we may need to go back a little further. Do do that. Back a little bit further. We're not going to get this any more compact anyway. We've, we've tried everything. Maybe we have. Grab. Like, that's the only one we can use at level 2. We want a two lane ramp, which we do. Kind of limiting myself because I want these sort of slightly more realistic capacity ramps too. If, if, if I was willing to have every ramp be an MIS lane, um, then I wouldn't be having this issue. But I'm not. So, oh my god. Once again. Just, we just need this to... Um, what, am I gonna, I'm gonna flex fly it? Is that what I'm gonna do? Uh, level one. The, the interesting thing about the flex flies is they do kind of force it to stick on the level you want, more or less. So jam them in. It may be because of the adjacent highway. I can temporarily delete. Yep. We're gonna temporarily delete. We're gonna temporarily delete this guy. Make sure that there's lots of space. Just be careful because there's a height dude there. And hopefully, hopefully, flex fly will fit in here. I don't think we're going to be able to fit two though. So I might want to just do it. And work as it. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, that works. Okay, I don't think we can have flex flies there, but but it works pretty well. A little bit unfortunate that I can't just have this. Could I? No, no bloody way. Yeah, I could just tighten that right up, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do it. Changing my mind as we do this. Get rid of that flex fly. No, no, we can't. No, we can't. I can't have this turn here. Probably could too, couldn't I? I could probably put the 45 degree flex fly right there. I doubt it. I don't think so. I don't think that would work. Oh, it 
might, though. In some ways, I don't know why it wouldn't. Hmm. I'm so tempted to try. Saved first. Level one, forty five degree. Yeah. Okay, that's as close as it can be. That is as close as it can be. Is there like a that's an interesting question. Sometimes in these curve pieces here, there's like a lane shift. That's what we need is a lane shift. RHW4, is it a, it's not flex though, is it? Multi. What we need is like a lane shift at level one. Lane shift. RHW4 lane shift. I think that works actually. I think that's a flex piece. I thought it was anyway. That's a, that's a drag. If that lane shift worked, then we could do this in a more elegant way. I think, however, we can just use the kind of brute force approach. We just need these two to meet somehow. Uh, a little bit of space to do that. Fortunately, it will not be a nice lane shift like I was hoping. Oh, that's really foul. What's going on there? There's got to be a way to make this work. Ugh. Okay. That worked. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the tightest we could have done for this particular configuration. And that is going to be the end of this episode. Let me just hook this up for good measure. I will come back and fix this curve here, uh, which is just kind of leading up to the interchange, but it does need, does need some work. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to connect things up so that we know where things are supposed to be going, like so. I will figure out what we can do about a curve, a nicer curve here. But that, otherwise, is a pretty damn fine looking Pretty damn fine looking interchange. This avenue here is going to be moved up here and hopefully we can fit an exit system in here. I think we can. Uh, it does take up rather a lot of space, but I think it looks pretty nice. We got room for exits here, here, and here, and then all along this, all along this two lane highway. So. That was awesome. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we did an episode on this because it's been a uh, it's been a while. I have not, I have not showed you guys a lot of this stuff. Uh, those of you who watch on the Twitch will have seen me do this kind of stuff, but not so much on YouTube. Uh, and I'm particularly happy with this one. Overall, uh, I got it as tight as possible. It, it, it went through a lot of trial and error. Uh, there was originally this kind of big lumpy piece here, which we redid. But uh, every lane is going where it's supposed to. Right? Yeah. Up there, like that, like that. Look at it from this angle. I'm gonna go left, left, and right up here. It looks good. Things going where it's supposed to.
All right, rock and roll. Well, yet another uh, kind of, this is kind of a Y interchange or T interchange or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Do make sure you check out that collaboration video with uh, Solid Content. It was really a lot of fun to make. I will be back on Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern with Honestville Extra, and there will be another Honestville episode next Friday as usual. So see you next time. Ciao.